Thank you, Chair. Thank you all for being here. Uh, in February of this year, there was a very big event uh, in Singapore, uh, kind of a jamboree of Canadian and Canadian-connected people and institutions and so on. I think it was called Kaya, Canada in Asia, something like that. Uh, I know GAC provided significant funding and uh, attended it uh, in, in uh, with strong representation. I wonder if there's any reflection on how the event went and what what you might have learned from it, uh, what was novel about the approach that was taken. I have some thoughts on what I think is novel and what might be replicable, but I'd like to get some reflections from any of you who may have been involved in it, and I understand you may not have been directly involved. So I, I wasn't directly involved, um, although I did uh, sit uh, last summer with the head of the Asia Pacific Foundation mm -hmm. in, in, uh, in Vancouver mm -hmm. and listened to what I thought were just extraordinarily innovative ideas mm -hmm. about how to bring a critical mass of Canadians together in Singapore all at the same time mm -hmm. to have a trade, um, you know, that would have a trade and investment focus, but mm -hmm. also had other um, mm -hmm. activities tacked on. And it was such a compelling set of ideas that mm -hmm. uh, our Asia branch decided to have a regional heads of mission meeting there at the same time. Mm -hmm. And I know Minister Ng went mm -hmm. out, um, uh, some folks, uh, some senior folks from that uh, part of global affairs went out. One of the things that they did was they invited um, uh, graduates of Canadian universities mm -hmm. from throughout Southeast Asia to come to Singapore and, mm -hmm. and participate. So I just thought it was a really innovative um, uh, set, of, um, set of proposals. Uh, I wasn't able to go, and mm -hmm. I really, uh, I heard it was great, but I don't know the details. We can certainly come back to you mm -hmm. and, and uh, inform you about that. If I could just offer a small commentary on, on that event, <clears throat> what strikes me as really innovative is that it, it turned the premise of how Canada can project itself overseas around. Mm. Rather than thinking about what we have here to then project over there, it took what we already have over there, right. which is like tens of thousands Graduates. of alumni. They're not yeah. necessarily Canadians, but they're all connected in some mm. way. And I think they were very successful. Universities Canada and APF and GAC were very successful in mobilizing these friends of Canada at one event there. Just if, if I may, one of the uh, things that is hard to prove that it um, hits its metrics, but it's scholarships. And I used to travel extensively in Africa. And the goodwill that we have, those are all ambassadors for Canada. I was in Bhutan once, and it turns out that half the Bhutanese cabinet went to the University of New Brunswick. It's extraordinary. And and St. effects. And, 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 you know, we don't have to work very hard to That's organize right. that into a real asset yep. for Canada. Thank you.